But if you are going to play the Dark Knight, Bruce Wayne, you basically have to be an empty husk of a man walking around and be like, oh man, I can't believe it. My parents died. Time for the Bolt A-Hole here. Thank you for joining me as always. And the Batman is out today. We're going to have a review on this channel at some point because I saw it actually like over a week ago now. It was meant to go up a couple of days ago, but life is like, I just want to talk about it. And of course, because Robert Patterson is doing his PR rounds and his interviews and talking to people, someone, thank goodness, said to him, hey, Robbie, how did you get in shape for the Batman? We actually have done another video about this, but he had one very specific thing that he did say, and I wanted to talk about it. It comes from people.com who have done an article about all this because they say, as the days ticked by before Robert Patterson had to go shirtless for the new Batman reboot, he was cutting down his diet so much that he was counting sips of water. Because Patterson said, I had about three months before the movie started and then you're working out before and after work all the time he told people blah 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 as the shoot days grew closer Pattinson had to be careful about every single thing he was consuming you just cut down and cut down and cut down before a couple of scenes with your shirt off and you're counting sips of water Pattinson agreed with Parsons that knowing that he had to go shirtless in the movie was motivating oh yeah the star said with a laugh shame is my biggest motivator 100 percent I'll start with the latter part of that because I think it's really interesting because it goes to show even a millionaire actor who will have loads of cool things going on was still a bit like oh my gosh I'm going to have to take my top off this makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable how am I going to deal with it so as ever if you are dealing that with your own life do not think it is specific to you I would probably say 100% of people on this planet have body dysmorphia or body problems to a certain way even people that you just see eating whatever they want and don't seem to care about the physique probably deep down they do and that's probably why they're eating so hopefully that can give you some confidence and some courage with your own struggles if you are going through them but this water thing is getting a little bit out of control now we have to look at it in the context that it's presented in right if you know you have one specific day when you're doing a shirtless scene you probably are going to cut out as much as possible like let's say you're doing this on a tuesday off a wednesday at like 3 p.m if you just don't eat anything for the rest of the day it's not going to be a problem and then if you do the same on tuesday it's not going to be a problem henry cavill talked about this when he did the witcher scene as well but he said he did it for three days or something but even then if you're doing it for a short period of time it's like you know it's not going to make a blind bit of difference your body can handle it blah 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 plus you've got people around you he may also be exaggerating i don't know but the problem is people read this and they go well maybe if i just cut out water i'm gonna look super duper rich that is not how it works like if you have a body fat percentage let's say 10 percent, that's super low you should be super proud of yourself you can drink a bunch of water and you're still gonna look good now if all of a sudden you become an actor and you're going to do a shirtless scene then sure if you drink less water of course you're going to look more shredded because there's less in your tum tum that's all it is and of course when you drink water it goes to your muscles blah 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 so on and so forth so this does stand to reason and i think where it comes from is this idea of water cycling which is a very I don't know, I guess, prominent tactic when it comes to bodybuilding. And basically all water cycling is when it comes to bodybuilding is that let's say you've got a show on Saturday. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you are going to drink a hell of a lot of water, more water than you would usually drink. A couple of days before, though, you then reduce that right down to even less than you would be drinking normally because the idea is you want to support subcutaneous water reduction. And again, I'm going to talk in layman terms here because that's what we do on that channel. That is basically what you do in order to try and get the muscle closer to the skin and get rid of all the water that may be in between. Now, you can actually screw this up as well because some people don't take enough water in and they look really flat when they get onto a bodybuilding stage because of course your waters are muscle blah 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 we don't need we don't need to get into it so there is a method to this madness of course there is but these are people that have a very specific day in mind this isn't something you should do all the time you need water you are water the human body is like 75 percent water so why the flub would you not be drinking water but given that it has become part of the i guess celebrity fitness consciousness now because a lot of people keep talking about it i kind of feel like we need to draw a line under it and even robert pattinson said if you read most of his interviews he's like yeah I was pretty tired and I was pretty worn out when it came to Batman I mean it wasn't just because of his fitness regime but it was also because he was in that suit it was an amazing interview I can't remember who it was with now but he talks about how he was in that suit for so long and because a lot of the scenes were shot at night and because he wasn't allowed to leave the set when he does have the bat suit on that basically when he was done when the Batman was recorded he was like man I'm green because I've had no sunlight coming towards me, which is actually a Batman storyline they could do in the future. If you are a fan of the franchise as well, I would suggest trying to hunt down his GQ interview, I believe it was, where he talked about because it's such a draining experience, he kind of felt like he had to hit rock bottom 
in order to play Batman. And I'm like, Robert, I'm sure you understand this, and that's why you're talking about it. But that's exactly how you do need to feel. Again, we're going off on a tangent here, given the title of the video. But if you are going to play the Dark Knight, Bruce Wayne, you basically have to be an empty husk of a man walking around being like, oh man, I can't believe it, my parents died, and I'm never going to get over it. Because of course, let's not forget that he's lost his parents, which is terrible, but the way he decides to deal with it is by running around as a bat. Now, I'm a huge Batman fan, but that's pretty crazy. So yes, always remember that being fit and healthy is the most important thing, because it's so easy to just go on the internet and type in, oh, what should I do with water, or water cycling, or dehydrating myself, etc., to try and look good. But let's be honest with you, if you're just doing it when you're walking around your house to pop yourself, or, or, you know, look good in the mirror. Just don't bother. And if you are going to do it, for the love of everything, do it with a personal trainer or do it with someone that actually understands what they're doing. There are a load of techniques when it comes to fitness and bodybuilding in the gym that are quite dangerous because you are mucking around with your hormones and you are mucking around with, uh, you know, basically nutrients that you need to get in your every single day life. And why would you even want to look amazing if you feel really terrible inside? I mean, what's the point of that? It's fine to do it for a little while. It's fine to do it for a job, especially when you're being paid million dollars. What a great motivator that is. But if you've started going to the gym and you've started working out because you want to feel better about yourself, then not taking in the right amount of water isn't going to help with that. In fact, you're going to be crap. Like, never forget, if you all of a sudden feel thirsty, that already means that you're a little bit dehydrated. Like, you should never feel thirsty. And if your brain ever sends that signal, or your, whatever, your body sends a signal to your brain, it's like, oh my gosh, we need water, it's already too late. And I'm not going to start saying, oh, you should drink this amount of water a day, because you can also drink too much water. You've got to be careful. But I would hazard a guess that most people, when they start the gym, are not drinking as much water as possible. You need to be hydrated in order to make the gains that you want to make, essentially. Like, everyone always talks about protein and sleep and training hard and all of this, but but water, something which, very lucky for all of us, is super accessible, is something you absolutely need to take heed of as well. And it's going to help with your skin, and it's going to help with your day-to-day. -day. It's just going to give you more energy. It's going to do everything. So if you do not feel like you are smashing this at the moment, absolutely increase it. I try and get in six liters of water a day. I don't know what that is in gallons. And that doesn't mean that you should take in six liters a day, but that just makes me feel good. And yes, at first you go to the toilet a lot. Of course you do, especially if you do something like water cycling. But you know, when you find sort of your balance with it, your body understands what you're doing and it does calm down. So don't stop drinking water because you're like, oh my God, I go to the toilet all the time. Unless it's absolutely crazy. Again, please, please do be careful with it because it's the same kind of thing. People read, oh my gosh, I should dehydrate myself. So they go and do it. And then people may hear me going, oh my gosh, he's saying drink more water. I will go and drink way too much. Everything in moderation. So just add like a couple of glasses today if you think you are under and take it from there. But never, ever underestimate how important water is. Not just for lifting weights, but basically existing. And that's it. Probably the last video we'll do about Robert Pattinson in the Batman until the Batman 2 comes out. And if you're like me, you want everything to evolve. So when we get to that sequel, I expect him to be absolutely tonked. I mean, it won't be because that's not his thing. This goes back to a couple of years ago when he dropped that quote in an interview where he said he didn't even work out for the Batman. And yes, he was trolling us, but it still doesn't mean we can't talk about it. That was a funny thing in the comments. Everyone was like, meh, meh, meh. It's like, well, we can still discuss it and try and, you know, discuss Batman lore, but don't even worry about it. So yes, thank you, Robert Pattinson. Thank you, Warner Brothers. Thank you, Batman, for allowing me to chat this nonsense your movie is very very good and i say this we'll probably be talking about it again next week now please do like the video share the video and subscribe get the bell ding ding so other videos are going live there is a video on the screen please do give it a click patreon.com forward slash simon316 if you want to support me that way uh grillamine.com forward slash simon you just go to simon to get 10 percent off these are supplements i use i think they're very good in greg new sets power 13 cookbook all the information in the description below come follow me on instagram and twitter at simon miller 316 i'm on cameo if you want to shout out whatever you want if you want me to talk about Gerald the Fitness Mascot, I'll do it. SimonMiller.BigCartel.com, the Gerald the Fitness Mascot tees and other merchandise. Otherwise, thank you. I appreciate you. Enjoy the Batman. Drop a comment below if you have seen it and let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon.